I'm Mia Barella and I'm a sophomore at Towson High School. For my entry on the future of our water, I decided to focus on the role that beavers play in our watershed. To explore this, I spoke with local experts. Can you tell me a little bit about what some of the um, benefits of beavers slowing down our watershed is? Beavers are unique in that, in that the habitats they create, while well, their damming activities in particular, they're, they're doing it for selfish reasons to make habitat for themselves and protection from predators, food sources, etc. But the actual structure itself diffuses the force of a high flow and takes it across the landscape and through many avenues, sort of diffusing force of a flood or, or a large amount of water. How do beavers like exactly help with slowing down our water. As you can see right here, this brand new dam, they're already raising the water table right here. It's about, well, we can't see the alders anymore. So they've already raised it about a foot and a half. And that's just been in about two weeks. <laughs> and uh, we have not had rain in about a week. Um, so that is literally just holding what's naturally coming down through here back. And what are a few like benefits that beavers bring to like the environment? by creating their beaver dams. So again, raising those water tables, um, expanding, this was a wetland to begin with, but now we've expanded it exponentially. It just got huge. <laughs> um, we are creating new habitat for migratory birds. Um, now that things are drying up on the mountain, the elk are coming back down um, to water here. The deer, of course, we have them they're all they're always here uh, but just seeing we have coyotes that come in and water here um, so this is a, a safe space for the wildlife in this area which we back up to Carson National Forest so we've got a million acres right here in our backyard when a beaver makes a dam uh, it's creating habitat for its, itself but it's also spreading water um, across the dam and through the dam uh, the structure is allowed to uh, absorb a lot of force from say a flood event, high water event. Um, and it can push that water in, in a lot of directions and, and kind of buffer the, it buffers the force of that water and, and the significance of the event. So in a sense, it stabilizes the hydrograph hydrologically um, and reduces erosion downstream. Uh, it also captures sediments and debris in the structure that providing for cleaner water downstream and then consequentially it alters the habitat for other organisms whether it be plant insect animal and that can be the altering of habitat by the beaver provides niche habitats that are otherwise rare a little more rare and hard to find uh, so other wildlife are able to come and go and use those diverse places. What is the relationship between humans and beavers like? That's complicated. Uh, beavers and humans have often disagreed on land management decisions. Um, and beavers have gotten a bad rap for their, their desire to manipulate the environment doesn't always agree with, with ours. So they show up in places unexpectedly and begin building in places that cause damage to what humans are up to. That could be in the form of an irrigation ditch or in front of a bridge culvert, or I've even seen houses flooded out from beaver dams. So there's a lot of opportunity for a beaver to get in trouble on the landscape and uh, people have to deal with them and manage the species appropriately. Is there any like hope that um, we have that connects beavers and the future of our water? Beavers are the engineers of watersheds and their work is free. Recognizing that and using them where possible uh, is going to better uh, hold watersheds in their optimal condition over time. Do you have a message for the youth about beavers and about the future of our water? Absolutely, water is gold. Um, that is just a resource that, golly, I just cannot imagine walking to the faucet and not having it. 
and, and it's one of those things you just don't realize it until it's gone. Anything we can do now to start conserving and working on these riparian projects, you know, and it starts up here, guys. It starts up here in your mountains, not just at your faucet and your, your water treatment facilities in town. It starts up here. This is where it, how it gets to Taos. Thank you.